I go to a lot of different collectible stores and comic book stores, mainly because I collect Star Wars figures in addition to cars, and comic book shops and collectible shops always have an absolute ton of older Star Wars figures for insanely good prices. Every time I go to a collectible shop or a comic book shop that I've never been in before, I always try to look for cars, and I never find any. Until recently, when I found a store in a mall pretty close to me that actually has a very small cars section selling some older car stuff. Last time I went there, I was able to pick up a lenticular 2010 Sarge, as well as an old mini adventures pack with McQueen and Yellow Ramon, both of which I reviewed a few months back when I picked them up. A few days ago, I went back to that mall and found that they had an original 2006 Disney Store Sarge. I started collecting Disney Store cars in early 2018. I built up a pretty decently sized collection. I think I have around 50 or so items, but I'm always excited to get new ones, especially because the Disney Store in my area closed down a few years ago, so it's not often I get my hands on them, and it's especially rare that I get my hands on older Disney Store items. Flea markets and thrift stores are usually full of them. They're surprisingly easy to come across in the wild, but never in the package. This is an original 2006 Disney Store Sarge still in the box, and while the box isn't the nicest quality, it was still an insanely cool find. Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at this original 2006 Disney Store Sarge. I am honestly really excited to be taking a look at this. As you can see, it's on this very interesting style of car. And again, from the first ever wave of Disney Store cars. Even back then they were larger than regular Mattel die casts. For some reason they decided to make them bigger. It still sticks to today. You know what else still sticks to today? The fact that there isn't a Disney Store Lizzie. Why? Anyway, this isn't just a toy car. I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to mention, this is a genuine character replica die-cast car of Sarge. Collect them all. Look at that classic 2006 packaging. That iconic red with these weird white glitter speckles all over it, Disney Store logo up there. In the background, you can see the same desert art image used for the original Mattel cars. You could see uh, a price sticker here. I guess originally when it was being sold, it was $9.99. store I got it at marked it down to five. And if you look behind it, it looks like there's another sticker that said 25, maybe 15. Were they were they really trying to sell this? Were they, was this store really trying to get away with selling this for $25? Uh, when I rang it up, it came up as, uh, came up as five. Wow. You guys really thought you could get away with selling this for, for $25. No wonder they marked it down to five. Who would want to spend $25 on this? <laughs> anyway, on the back, you see, collect them all with some other cars released. I'd assume this was them all at the time. Not very good with my Disney Store diecast history. We got Sally, the King, Mater, McQueen, Ramon, a tractor, Doc, Fillmore, Sarge, Chick Hicks, Guido, and Luigi. Yes. A tractor is more important than Lizzie, who has still not been made by the Disney Store. Just saying. You can see this thing has suffered a bit over the years. we got some cracks in the plastic blister. Uh, I don't know what the proper way would be to open this. I guess we'll just... Hmm. You guys know that the Disney Store loves their weird, high-security, prison-breaking style packaging these days. But uh, back in 2006, it seems like things were quite a bit easier. We could safely remove Sarge without even damaging the packaging, at least not any more than it already was damaged. And here he is out of the package. Now, pretty sure this Sarge has been re-released on several occasions. Pretty sure this is still the Sarge that they use to this day. Sarge hasn't gotten a Disney Store release in a while, but I'm pretty sure this is just the same one. I know I've seen this exact Sarge design in some Cars 2 packs. Um, Cars packs based on Cars 2, I mean. Although I think he was sold in a pack with Josh Coolin, which is a Cars 2 2 pack. Yeah, he is, of course, in the same scale as the other Disney Store cars. A very inconsistent scale, I'll, I'll give you that. But still, I didn't have any Sarge from the Disney Store before, which you saw was my only Disney Store Fillmore. So, very nice to have him, nonetheless. This is one of those reviews where it's really all about the packaging and the experience of opening up this interesting older item. Sarge himself is, is, a, is a little boring, but uh, that's all right. 984-673 there on the side. He's got a pretty decent expression for a 2006 item. Still think that the original Diecast Sarge had a better face. This one just looks kind of dead, staring a bit, which is a problem a lot of early Disney Store cars suffer with. Moving on to the back, he's got his spare tire there. 
unlike the Mattel release, this is actually fully painted in. The Mattel release, iconically, uh, does not fully color the wheel in. Uh, this colors in both the wheel and the tire. We've got that little kit on his back. 41 WW2 license plate there. There is a look at the other side. I like how it has his felt texture all throughout the car in a few different areas. You have sort of these little bumps on him that, again, just remind you that he is supposed to have a felt roof. They simulate it pretty well. And finally, there is a look at the base. You can see this guy's put together by screws. I think all Disney store cars do that, so if you want to disassemble him, you can do that very, very easily. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.